Assalamu alaikum everybody and welcome here to beautiful Cairo here in Egypt, the capital city of Egypt. I'm so blessed to be back. It's my fifth time here in Egypt, only this time I'm here for beautiful Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak to all of you who are celebrating. I've come here because I really want to experience the Ramadan vibes here in Cairo. I've heard some incredible things about how they celebrate Ramadan here in the city. For the past four years, I've celebrated Ramadan in the UK, Mexico, Pakistan, Turkey, and now Alhamdulillah, I'm here in Cairo and I cannot wait to fully explore this city during, especially during the iftars. I've seen some incredible photos, incredible videos of the iftars, the huge tables uh, of people coming together and celebrating Ramadan in a beautiful way and I cannot wait to go out and explore the city. The sun is just setting so inshallah in just a short amount of time I can go out and break my fast. My mouth is very dry so apologies in this video if I'm a little bit slow. Ramadan is very very difficult uh, fasting and uh, especially when I'm traveling all the time but I'm going to do my best to show you the city so let's head out and I'm gonna, the plan will be to head to Al Azhar and Khan Al Khalidi market the old bazaar the old area of Cairo to fully explore and immerse myself in the beautiful culture here so let's go Here for all the Cairo here for everything and this all the blessing like the Coptic Museum uh, here is Christian and mm -hmm. uh, the back front is Islam. Yeah, so he's saying there's a building here where you can yeah. see Christianity here and Islam just here. Yeah. So I just arrived here in beautiful old Cairo almost near the Al Azhar Mosque and already as you can see the Ramadan Spirit is in full swing, it's amazing. I'm meeting incredible locals behind me. This store here is over 180 years old. Hopefully, inshallah, later I will try some food for iftar. I'm sorry if I struggled during this video to speak because my mouth is just so dry, but I'll try my best. <laughs> It's still roughly about one hour until it's done. Inshallah, I can make it. I'm really struggling right now. But the streets are beautiful, all beautifully lit. It's amazing decorations. Hello, <laughs> Salam. It's Mick? Hi. Ahmad. It's me, Jay. Nice to meet you. Okay, it's I think about five minutes until uh, the Azan and finally people can eat and break their fast. You can see people already out, setting up ready for those five minutes. I can't wait. I really, really need some food right now. I'm struggling a lot. But the spirit here in Egypt so far has been actually one of the best I've ever seen. Everyone is so alive and so happy. The streets are always crazy. The decorations are beautiful. I can't wait till it gets dark and I can fully see the lights and the beautiful atmosphere. Osama actually has kindly invited me back to his family's house so I can witness a true family iftar and I couldn't be more grateful. I'm so excited. And then inshallah after, after we spend some time with the family, I will then head outside to explore more of Cairo in the dark and I can't wait. That right there is the Azam, which means it's finally alhamdulillah time to break my fast. I've just arrived here at Osama's house with his beautiful family. I'm going to spend some time with them now to try and understand the traditions here, the way of life for iftars and during Ramadan. But so far, it's been just such a beautiful experience. Wanting the streets, of course. Here in Egypt, here in Cairo, you always get the best welcome and the happiest people around you. It's such a pleasure and an honor for me to keep coming back here. And yeah, 
out there, see what tonight brings. Here's the beautiful food. Wow. Non-Muslims mostly think that Ramadan is just about fasting, where you abstain from food and water during daylight hours. But it's much more than that, it's much bigger than that, and it's something much bigger than ourselves. Ramadan is about fasting, yes, but it's also about loving, caring and sharing with other people, doing things for the less fortunate, things who don't have what you have. It's about coming together and doing things for the greater good of humanity. And for me, how I do this is I spend a good portion of my day helping other people, giving out food parcels, giving out water, giving money to charity, and also praying to Allah that everyone who needs help during difficult times will receive that. Last night, I had the incredible iftar with the beautiful family here in Cairo, which I feel so blessed to have witnessed and experienced. I didn't film a lot of it because I wanted to respect their privacy. The majority, all of them actually, except Osama, uh, the family were uh, female and I don't want to put them on camera uh, but the energy and the environment and the beauty I experienced last night was just phenomenal. I feel so blessed to have experienced that. Ramadan here in Cairo and Egypt in general is very special. It's a it's a beautiful atmosphere. People on the streets are incredibly kind. I was always here in Egypt, but somehow I, it's very hard for me to explain. The energy here in Cairo is just another level and uh, I am so happy to be here. Okay, good evening everybody. What's up? Uh, it's currently 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm currently in a new area of Cairo and these are the vibes. It's so busy. I cannot quite believe this is 2 a.m. here in Cairo. Everyone's out, of course, ready for their suhoor and I am too. I cannot wait. Let's head inside the restaurant and see what they're cooking. There is so much food going out here. So much full falafel. This restaurant is packed. All right, good morning, Suho vibes. Fries, salad, falafel, full, of course. You know what we call it? Masri, Allah. of ten.